Got Leonardo, Leonardo Mayan, King of Bongo Congo, a hero line of art. Where Leonardo travels, his subjects all go to. There's Odeo Coloni, who's loyal and true blue. A sailor's a booming hunter. And wily witty fox. And Tudor, who brings fun to you. A business magic box. King Leonardo and his enemies. Biggie, with well, his pestles. Archie, with well, his fleas. They fought against the kingdom to overthrow the king. Looks like Leonardo has had his royal fling. But Odeo Coloni steps in to change the play. Mm -hmm. That lawyer has gone, but Skell and Spunk come through to save the day. You'll find adventure and thrills after a minute or two. You mustn't miss Excitement like this, or Hunter may hunt you. Let's watch Leonardo, all his subjects too. Only your Coloni, the fox and hunter too. Tudor and the winter, they're ready, set to go. So everyone come join the fun on King Leonardo show. Way out yonder lies the little kingdom of Bongo Congo, a peaceful land where contented natives play contented songs on their contented drums, bongo drums. The principal product of the kingdom, in fact, the only product of the kingdom. Come with us now to Bongo Land. From the palace comes the thundering roar of Great Lion King Leonardo. Confounded, where's my throne? It's time for my cartoon show. <laughs> King Leonardo had finally reached the end of his patience. The constant plotting of Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother had taken its toll on the great king. Confound it, true blue oldie, I'm a nervous wreck. We've got to do something about those two traitors. True, sire. We must cleanse the kingdom of treachery once and for all. But how? I tell you the trials and tribulations. Wonderful idea, sire. A trial, of course. We'll put the traitors on trial before the entire kingdom. Yes, yes, indeed. Exactly what I had in mind. Well, let's get on with it. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, look well at the two hardened faces before you. They are guilty of treason beyond a doubt. Let us review the evidence. Exhibit A shows how the traitors craftily plotted to get our great king to leave his throne. Well, the subjects are getting restless like. Uh, they say you've lost touch. Lost touch? They're talking revolution, Casey. Guillotine, deadheads, that sort of thing. This is terrible. What can I do? The cunning criminals persuaded the king to go out among his subjects and then turn the king's own guards upon him. Guards! Guards! A thief, an assassin! Shoot the mark! Only by true courage and perseverance was our king able to undo that terrible plot. And now, Exhibit B. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here, Biggie Rat disguised himself as the king's footman. Then, once his majesty and his humble servant were in the car... Confound it! Why are we stopping? Got a broken rear widget. Why not get a little air, Kingsley? Get out and stretch your legs while we digit the widget. Good idea. Come, true blue Odie. So long, suckers. Like a bon voyage, brother. Had it not been for our king's quick thinking, we would surely have plunged hopelessly to the road so far below. But this is far from all members of the jury. I like object. You object to what? I don't know. Uh, you always say that in the funny paper, so... Uh... Shut up, Lockhead. I'll handle this. Order! Order in the court! Proceed, true blue O.D. Our next exhibit against these two. Exhibit C. The mighty Bongo Rock. Who was it that so deliberately sabotaged the great ship and then persuaded our king to be the pilot? Listen, you mobs. Is the king a man or a mouse? A lion or a louse? If the Bongo rocket is safe, then let the king fly first. The, the king, king must fly! fly. The king must fly. fly! And so he did, with only the kind hand of faith saving him in the doomed ship. Can't say that's all. Who saw me sabotage the ship? Uh, me, Big. Remember, I was there and, uh... Quiet, Flathead. Uh, okay, Big. I'm Big. Uh, big, I dig. 
Did you hear it, ye brother, members of the jury? A confession from the accused's own lips. And who among you can forget the king's valiant battle against the mobster monster, Terrible Tim? Everyone knows it was Piggy Rat who hired the monster. Of course, the raw courage of our brave king saw him through. No thanks to these two traitors who sit before you. Away with them! Away with the crooks! Like an artist! All right now, jury. Retire for a verdict. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We find the defendants guilty and recommend that they be banished from the kingdom. Now listen, you mugs. We'll be back, see? We got a deal working, see? And when we come back, you'll all be sorry you crossed Biggie Rat. What devilish scheme does Biggie Rat have up his sleeve? Banished from the kingdom, how do he and Itchy Brother plan to wreak their vengeance? We'll find out in our next exciting episode, Battle Slip. Deep in the forest grows a tall, tall tree. Uh, of course, it was a short tree, but it uh, grew. And down at the bottom of that tree, there's a little old box that's really the home of Mr. Wizard the Lizard. Yes? What's that? It's Tooter the Turtle, Mr. Wizard. I got another favor to ask. Come in, come in, my boy. <laughs> What is you doing, Tutor? Well, I'm being like I'm in a spaceship, Mr. Wizard. All day I've been wishing I could be the first feller to fly to the moon. Mm, it's dangerous flying in the rockets, my boy. Oh, come on, Mr. Wizard. I'm sure I was meant to be a... a space head. Mm -hmm. All right, Tutor. But be very careful now. Who knows what the future brings? Men but flies to moon rockets must be very brave and strong. <laughs> the space hat must be ready to face the unknown. Are you ready, space hat? Ready and set, Tower. The name is Frank. Uh, ready and set, Frank. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off. And the space head is off on the great adventure. Far out in space, the space head will undo the safety belt. He must be very careful. Keep your belt fastened, space head. You're approaching free space. No gravity out there, you know. I know now, Tower. The name is Frank. After the long travel, the moon is in sight. The wide awake space head is ready. Prepare for landing, space head. The moon is coming up. Oh, shine on, shine on, harvest moon. Missed me, space head. Been ready for the landing, the space head fires the rockets. Perfect landing. Easy on the ship, Spacehead. We hate to see it left on the moon. Well, I don't figure to jump back home, you know. And so it's landed the first man on the moon. Outside the ship, the Spacehead jumps with joy. <laughs> don't forget your gravity shoes, Spacehead. Not much gravity on the moon. Might get hurt. Uh, thanks a heap there, Tower. The name is Frank. Mit the gravity shoes on, the space head explores the moon. There's much to see. Big mountains and many deep... Watch out for craters, space head. You might fall in one. We want that rocket ship back. The brave adventurer climbs to the high peak to mark with the flag that he is the first to land on the moon. 
Killjoy. It's time now for the space head to get back to the rocket ship and make the return flight. There is nothing to fear, of course. There is no life on the moon. Watch the noise, space head. Oh, I sort of got me a monster, I reckon. Nonsense, space head. There's no life on the moon. Return to your ship. Yeah, what ship? That thing got my ship, and now he's he always after me. Here I go once again. Drizzle, 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 drum. Time for this one to come home. Are you? Um, my card, son. Like I said, are you? I am, I say, I am the hunter. Okay, hunter. Here's a blow for your cartoon show. <laughs> On a cold winter night in late November, the most daring robbery of all time took place. From the waters of the Hudson, amid light from the Staten Island ferries, off the very foothills of Manhattan, the Statue of Liberty was stolen. Yes, it was true. The wily fox had perpetrated the greatest crime of all. Tossing a line around the great statue, the fox had towed it out to sea. Immediately, a national state of emergency was declared. Congress was cabled. A special congressional session was called. And I say that this is the most despicable crime ever committed against the good people of this country. We must call out the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the FBI. But above all, we must call out the hunter. Hello? Oh, I say, this is the, uh, what? the President of the United States. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll get right on the case, sir. All right, I say, this time the fox has gone too far. Even a wily, clever fox can't hide a statue that big. It's got to be somewhere on the horizon. Aha! There it is. And I'll never let it get out of my sight. Hmm, something's wrong here. That statue don't seem to be getting any closer. Ouch! A nice souvenir of New York, sir. Just the thing to take to the folks back home. Hold on there, you wily, clever criminal. You can't shrink the Statue of Liberty and get away with it. I'm taking you in. What's going on here? Oh, it's you, Hunter. Flanagan, I'm glad you're here. Arrest this man. He's the fox in disguise, and he has shrunk the Statue of Liberty. Ah, sure, Hunter. <laughs> it's another one of your jokes. This man here is Honest Sam, the souvenir man. He's no more the fox than you are. Well, you can't trust anyone these days. Aha, uh -huh. a real clue. Miss Liberty test rocket. The fox can't fool me. One side, son. Just a minute. You can't go in there. Government business, son. National emergency. Test rocket indeed. Falter off. I see somebody crank the clanger. Uh, somebody bang the banger. I, I see. Let me out of here. Four, three, two, one. Blast off. Joke's a joke, son, but this has gone too far. Let me out of here! Well, that's better. Say, now, where in the cotton blooming world am I? It's called Kriosha, comrade. Land of nudniks and spudniks and plenty of no goodniks. But you come at the right time. Today is special. Today you can see liberty for only two rubles. You can't sell liberty, son. Liberty is free. Who dares sell liberty? Take me to the head of the line. It's against rules. They turn, da? Huh? Who was behind this amazing plan to sell the sight of liberty? The fox. Having stolen the great Statue of Liberty, the fox had taken it to cold Crusher. Now he was charging admission. 
so that the people of Coal Crusher could see what liberty looked like. Oh, uh, one, I uh, say one ticket, please. Aha, uh -huh, the fox. Yes, yes. The name is Igor Skavinsky Skavar. Yes, and I'm Abdul Abdul Bulamir. <laughs> That's a joke, son. Now put him up. I'm taking you in. Glory be, it's the hunter with the statue and the fox. Oh, how can we ever repay you? Well, now, a, a hero's welcome by a grateful people will do nicely, son. Comrade, told me, who was that funny man? Ah, that, me boy, was the hunter. <laughs> hmm, what's that thing, true blue Odie? A present for you, sire, from your subject. Oh, a present. Nothing I like more than... Confounded a TV set. I already have a TV set. But look, this one is special. Perfect for watching the next cartoon on our show. <laughs> In our last episode, King Leonardo and his faithful companion, Odi Coloni, had held a trial. Did you hear it, ye brother, members of the jury? A confession from the accused's own lips. Away with him! Away with the truck! Lock it and it's them! All right now, jury, retire for a verdict. Have you reached a verdict? Yes, your honor. We find the defendants guilty and recommend that they be banished from the kingdom. Now listen, you mugs. We'll be back, see? We got a deal working, see? And when we come back, you'll all be sorry you crossed Biggie Rat. What diabolical scheme did the treacherous twosome have in mind? There was not long to wait for the end. Sire, important news. We have just received a special message from Lookout Point. Well, what does it say? Oh, it isn't code, Your Majesty. Oh, it must be important. All right, confound it. Decode the message with the OD decoder. Yes, sire. Hmm. Oh, QXBT. Hmm. Yes, I have it now. Oh, Your Majesty, terrible news. But what? Our soldiers at Lookout Point have have sighted a battleship steaming down our coastline. They say the captain is... is... Yes? Biggie Rat and Itchy Brother is aboard. A battleship? Why, that's the most unheard of thing I ever heard of. The true sire, even now the bombardment begins. Confound it, they're destroying the palace. Call out the Navy! Immediately! But we have no Navy, sire. We'll call out the Marines! But we have no Marines, sire. Well, what can we do? Well, our army is useless on water, Your Majesty, but... Together we shall face the enemy, and your courage shall see us through. All right, true blue Odie. Load the weapon. Now I'll just pull back. Back, back, and... Help! Help! I can't swim! A narrow escape, sire. But we shall not weaken. Stroke! 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 That's it! That's it, true blue oldie! We are coming into range now, sire. Best we load the cannons. Of course, of course. You just handle the oars. Ready, sire? Ready. Steady now. Prepare for the blast. Oh, hopeless. Hopeless, I tell you. No, your majesty. Your strength has carried us through. We have the way now. I'm certain it will work. But why do you have the royal buzzsaw? Yes, sire. The buzzsaw will win for us. Have your army ready for the traitors. Prepare for the attack. I shall return. Now, your 
Your Majesty. Now is the time to overwhelm the traitors. Charge! 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 Yes, again, the ever faithful Odie Colony has saved the little kingdom. What now of Biggie and Itchy? Captured again? Sent away from the kingdom again? What new way will they find to attack the kingdom? We'll find out in our next exciting episode of The King and Odie.